Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about how to simplify radicals. So what you're going to do is you're going to take notes with me on this first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so how do we simplify radicals? Well, let's first take a look at this one here. Here we have the square root of 9. Well, hopefully by now you know the square root of 9 is 3, right? Because if I factor this, well, 9 is really 3 times 3, right? So because it's 3 times 3, that's a perfect square. So the square root of 9 equals 3. Well, the square root of 25, well, what number times itself equals 25? Well, it's 5, right? Because 5 times 5 equals 25. So the square root of 25 is it's 5. All right? Now, these first two are pretty simple because they're rational. But how about these other two over here, the square root of 12 and the square root of 300? All right. The key thing you have to know in order to factor these, excuse me, in order to simplify these is you have to factor. So please write that inside this box. All right. And that's what we did over here for the square root of 9 and square root of 25. We factored, right, because 3 times 3 is 9. Those are factors. And 5 times 5 is 25. Those are factors. But this is going to be a little bit different. All right. So the square root of 12, I know I can break down to the square root of 4 times the square root of three. All right. Now the goal is we want to factor out perfect squares. And I know the square root of four is two, right? So I'm going to make, make that a two and the square root of three, I'm going to leave alone. So it's going to be two radical three. So believe it or not, that is the simplified version of the square root of 12. Okay. So again, this is what I did. I first, I factored out the four and the three. Okay. I identified the four as a perfect square and the square root of 4 is 2, that's where the 2 comes from, okay, so, and then what's left over is the square root of 3, and it's attached to it, all right? Now, this one, I'm going to show you two different ways, okay? Let's first break this down to uh, the square root of 100 times the square root of 3, okay? This is the fastest way, because think about it, the square root of 100 is 10, right? So, our answer is going to be 10, and then this times radical 3, and there's your answer. But let's say we want to come up with a different way. Say instead of um, 103, we did 50 and 6. All right, so the square root of 50 times the square root of 6. Now, neither one of these are perfect squares, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these down even more. So 50, I could say, is the square root of 25 times 2. And then 6, I could say, is the square root of 3 times 2. So the square root of 3 times square root of 2. And notice I'm looking for pairs because the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, that would be the square root of 4, which is really a 2, right? And then the square root of 25, that's 5. So it's going to be 2 times 5 on the outside. And then what's left over is the square root of 3. So 2 times 5, that gives us our, our 10. And then what's left over is the 3, which remains. All right. So again, I made made it the square root of 50 times square root of 6. I broke down the 50, okay, like factor trees, to the square root of 25 times square root of 2. And I broke down 6 to the square root of 3 times square root of 2. And then notice the square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So that's where that 2 comes from. And then the square root of 25 is 5. That's where that 5 comes from. And then what's left over is just the square root of 3 right there. And that's on, on the outside. All right? So why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do these practice problems. So four of these, actually three of these, were much easier to, to simplify than the other three, right? So the square root of 36, that should have been just six. And then the square root of 25, that should have been 5, right? And then the square root of 49 was 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. So those three are quick and easy. But the ones that are irrational are a little more complex. So the square root of 75, well, again, I could break that down to the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. And then the square root of 25 is 5. So it's going to be 5 radical 3. That's the simplified version of the square root of 75. All right, let's do this one over here. The square root of 162. Well, that one, 
could be the square root of 81 times the square root of 2. And the square root of 81 is 9. So it's going to be 9 and then radical 2. All right. So hopefully you're kind of seeing a pattern here. I'm trying to factor out perfect squares. Like 81, that's a perfect square because the square root of 81 is 9, right? Over here, the square root of 25 was 5 because 25 is a perfect square. Now, this one 80 is a little more challenging. Uh, so I'm going to break this down to how about the square root of 10 times the square root of 8. Now, you could have done 40 times 2. You could have done uh, 20 times 4. You'll get the same answer eventually. Um, now, the square root of 10 is the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. And then the square root of 8, I could say, is the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. All right. Now, if you notice, here's a perfect square, right? So the square root of 4 is 2. So I'm going to take that and put it on the, on the outside. And here we have another squ square root of 2 times square root of 2. Well, the square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 4, right? And the square root of 4 is another 2, right? So that 2 goes there. So I'm going to cross this one off, this one off, and this one off. And what's left over is just radical 5. So 2 times 2 is 4. And then 4 times radical 5 is your answer. All right, how'd you do?